So it looks like the rap girlies are beefing yet again because Nicki Minaj and Young Miami just got into it on Twitter. They recently got into one of the weirdest Twitter fights ever and threw massive shade at each other. Young Miami got mad and exposed Nicki for being jealous of her and always trying to pull her down. Now I know that things have been chill between these two for the past couple of months, but they used to have major beef, so it's not exactly rising that they are coming for each other. Now, Nikki and Miami both have shows, and I think they're both doing well. Nikki has a radio show on Apple Music called Queen Radio, while Miami has a talk show on Revolt TV called Carisha Please. Well, she recently did an episode with Summer Walker, and she took to Twitter to promote the episode, saying, Summer, when I tell you me and Summer Walker got into some things, lol, literally one of my favorite episodes so far. Carisha Please is back. Well, for some reason, Nikki had an issue with Miami using the phrase, got into some things, because that's kind of her catchphrase on Queen Radio, and she called Young Miami out on Twitter saying, hits Diddy to advise him that a young lady on a show that appears on his network seems to have borrowed a very popular queen radio catchphrase puff who representing you these days child i got my itch drafted in my head b at young miami 305 talking about you got into some things um child anyways she threw in a couple of laugh emojis but it was clear as day that it was shady she tried to hide the shade under the emojis but people caught the shade loud and clear miami also seemed to catch the shade because she replied Nikki, what's really the problem? Because I definitely didn't get that from you, LOL. Let's get into some things, child. Actually, it's a gay slang, LMAO. Well, Nikki clearly had a lot of time on her hands because she replied, Carisha, now you know darn well gay slang is the first go-to nowadays. Let's discuss it on Queen Radio, child. If not, I'm hitting Puff right now. You know he used to manage me, right? Now it's my man, my man, my man. Puff what up? Hit my line. She then set up a poll asking if Miami was lying and she captioned it. Talking about gay slang, Carisha, please. Let's ask the guys, Miss B, at Young Miami 305. Miami then said, bring me on Queen Radio. I'm ready when you are, Miss B. And Nikki replied, stops typewriter, looks at the first legal draft, rips it up, hears Puff desperately calling my line, doesn't answer, gets my questions ready for Miss Carisha. Miami finally ended the conversation with, desperately? It's never given that, Nikki. Let's be for real. Now, on the surface, it looked like they were just having fun and messing around on social media, but if you look closely, it kind of looks like they were being catty and throwing very subliminal shade at each other. They threw in a couple of laughing emojis to throw people off, but it was kind of obvious what was really going on. And if you're wondering why on earth they'd be so shady toward each other, then you must be new here because these two have a very long and messy history. And I mean a hot stinking mess because Young Miami and her bestie JT used to talk crap about Nicki Minaj. And it wasn't like they were telling it to each other because they were tweeting it out for the world to see. Of course, this was way before they became famous because they would be dumb to diss Nicki after they got famous. Anyways, they used to diss Nicki with Miami saying, am I the only one that hates Nicki Minaj? Nicki Minaj is so ugly. I don't know what Carisha was seeing because Nikki has never been ugly. But again, haters gonna hate, right? But Miami was not the only one hating on Nikki because JT was doing some hating as well. She tweeted, I just don't like Nikki because she feels like she runs things. Please, I want Cardi to take completely over, push that B to the back. So this was them picking a side in the Nicki Minaj versus Cardi B beef, which was just very unnecessary since it had nothing to do with them. Also, it's crazy how they didn't think of deleting their old messy tweets because everyone knows that you're supposed to delete messy tweets once you start getting famous. But they didn't stop there because there's also a video of them on Facebook dissing Nicki. That hoe ain't even entry. She been fucking with me, but she got dropped like some and don't even get me started on the time young miami went to the breakfast club and declared that the city girls would never work with nikki because they were 100 percent team cardi i just want to stay away from that question like i don't want to get into that but i am team cardi city girls is team cardi cardi support the city girls so yeah it was not a one-time thing because they were full-time nikki haters but when they started getting more popular, they tried to do an about face and they started showing love to Nikki. The first sign that they were trying to switch up was when Young Miami took to Twitter to ask Nicki Minaj to unblock her on Instagram. She said, can you unblock me on Instagram? At Nicki Minaj. They also went on an episode with GQ where they went undercover online. They revealed that they really wanted to do a collab with Nicki. Where is the Nicki collab? We're hoping for it in the future. 
seriously. And a lot of people like try to make fun of me, like, uh, oh, you're never gonna get your feature, but you never know what can happen. Well, Nikki had clearly seen and heard what they said about her, and she decided that she didn't want to associate herself with them. She went on The Morning Hustle and revealed that this is the reason that she wouldn't work with them. She also revealed that she had been eager to jump on a song with them before realizing that they had been saying stuff about her. There is a group that they have over there that keeps mentioning your name because they want to do a song with you. Would you do a record with the City Girls? A few years ago, I saw a video of them and I asked someone on their team at that time, I asked someone about them. Like, oh my God, I heard da, 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 and I saw this video and I, that's cute. Yeah, like I was thinking about jumping on one a record, their, one of their records that was out at that time. Um, and then <sighs> social media happened. You know what I'm saying? Social media happened with when, you know, people will say things about someone like an artist whether they tweet it or say it or whether they get um pulled what whether it come it gets pulled out of them in an interview or something like that and the thing is whenever you t whenever you post something on the internet is there forever yes whenever you say something in an interview is there forever so and then i get some something that says yo she don't really fuck with you like that she was saying this and she don't really like you and she and she said she hopes you actually you know never pop or never flourish and da -da -da. i'm not gonna go out to dinner with you anymore because now i know that i like you but you you don't really like me so mm -hmm. so you know um i'm just, you know that's just that's just a human way to feel if you hear right. somebody if you hear somebody was saying things about you not just one thing but repeated things repeated tweets for for years not just one thing so it's hard to not, let that go it's it's let go yeah it's let go but nikki changed her mind about the beef and she even reached out to the city girls to sort out their issues we don't know what they talked about but nikki tweeted just had a great combo with at the girl jt and at young miami 305 let's move on and make new memories y'all young miami and jt both responded to nikki's tweet with miami saying queen tings and jt saying Sag sister, thank you for your time, your advice. A true queen, love you. So even though they publicly squashed the beef, they have never really been so buddy-buddy in real life. Not on social media, not in real life, and people feel like they're not really on great terms, but they're just faking it. And according to an insider, Young Miami feels like Nikki was not being funny when she called her out for using her catchphrase. The insider claimed that Miami believes that the real reason Nikki called her out is that she is secretly jealous. And before y'all start asking why on earth Nikki would be jealous of Miami, it's because of the show. The insider claims that Miami believes that Carisha Please gets a lot of buzz on social media, way more than Queen Radio, and Nikki feels a type of way about this. Plus, Carisha Please also won a BET award and Miami trends for days after every episode drops. This is why Miami feels like Nikki wants to clinch herself to Carisha Please. The insider claims that Miami feels like Nikki publicly asked her to be on Queen Radio so she wouldn't be able to say no. Yeah, this kind of explains all the subliminal shade that they were throwing at each other and it's just so weird. People also caught the shade and called Nikki out saying, I don't care what y'all say, Miss B is not something you say to someone you are just playing around with. It's passive aggressive. Y'all can keep playing like y'all don't see that woman is a jealous, obsessed weirdo who likes taunting female rappers just because she has a big fan base. Nikki's so old and bitter. Please don't eat me up. It's honestly the truth. And Nikki is the most accomplished, jealous hearted, bitter broad to ever do it. She can't stand that Carisha Please is getting so much praise and Queen Radio is nothing but irregularly scheduled coke rants with bad audio. Ciao. Woo! People did not come to play at all, but do y'all think that Nikki is as bitter as people are saying? Or is she just misunderstood and people are blowing things out of proportion? Let me know your thoughts, and if y'all think that is messy, just wait until you watch the next video.